Welcome to a Libre Design. When you first get started, you'll probably have an icon on your desktop or in your start menu. Let's go ahead and just double click on the icon to fire up a Libre Design. You'll see a little splash screen and soon it will pop into your home screen here, which you see. And you get a couple different options here. So at the top, you've got different tabs. So you have your Home, Explore, Utilities tab. And uh, we're pretty much going to be starting always in the Home tab, but you have some other ones you can explore, like tutorials and things like that, and some utilities you can jump into. But uh, we're going to be focusing on the Home tab. Now you can click on this icon here to open up a recent file. Uh, they also will show up down here in this list. And then you come over here and choose either a part, a sheet metal part, an assembly, a bill of materials, a drawing, or a global parameter. Now most of the time we're going to start with either the part or sheet metal part uh, and then take those parts that we create and create an assembly from them. We can also download other files off the internet or get files from vendors, things like that, uh, and use them in our assembly and then we'll possibly add a bill of materials to that and both of those things will show up here on the drawing. So. Um, Drawings can be made from in individual parts, they can be made from sheet metal parts, and they can be made from assemblies. So that's kind of how that flow is going to happen. But let's go ahead and start with the basic part and click on that icon there, and that will open up a Libre Design. Okay, once we're in the environment, you can see we've got a whole bunch of different buttons and a lot of things going on here, and I want to kind of simplify what you're looking at. So at the top of the screen here, we've got a pretty standard files type menu. So you click on files, can go over here and give you the option for you know naming your part, adding part numbers, things like that. Uh, you've got your model tab. So these are all kind of ribbon bar type interfaces. So if you click on the tab, the ribbon will change. Now, so if I click on the tabs here, the ribbon changes to all these different tools. Now, I don't you don't need to focus on all the different tools that are there right now, uh, but mostly we're going to be working in this model tab. Right, and the basic workflow is we're going to start and activate a 2D sketch, we're going to draw something, and then we're going to take that and extrude it out into a shape, or maybe we'll revolve it, or sweep it, or loft it. There's a bunch of things you can do with it, but they all start with a sketch, right? And the sketch has to be on a face or a plane, and because we don't have any faces right now, we're going to have to start with a plane. So notice over here in the Design Explorer, which is this whole panel right over here on the left, uh, it's got a whole bunch of things already kind of preloaded for us. So right at the top, you can see the name of our part. We've got a material that's already been assigned. Now we can change that and adjust that as needed. Uh, and I'll show you how to do that as we go through the course. Uh, we have different configurations of the same part. We've got different axes. So you have the X, Y, and Z axes already predefined right there. So we can use those to start drawing and utilize them for things. So maybe it's not something like a revolve, right? You want to design a shape or make a sketch, and then you want to revolve that sketch around in axes. They're already listed here for us. The planes. Now you've got three planes predefined. We can also create extra planes, as many as you like, right? There's a reference geometry, but there's three fundamental planes already defined, and that's where we're going to pretty much start any one of our drawings on one of those, okay? And we have a few other things down here in the, in the bottom, but let's ignore those for right now and just focus on the environment. Okay, a few other things I want to point out is the very top of the screen is things like the different views. So your front view, side view, things like that. Uh, you can also rotate your views. So rotate counterclockwise or clockwise. Uh, you can get into the measure command. You can zoom to fit. You can do a few things as far as what you're looking at. Right, and then over here you also have this little icon that shows you the front view, and you can spin it, you can see that world spinning around a little right now. And because we don't really have any objects in there, you can't see a lot. And we're going to be jumping into that in the next few videos. But right now though, I just want to show you the different environments and what we're going to be working with, and how the basic software is laid out. See you in the next video.